And now, instead of your amazing performance that you did to train, now you are—I mean, you are actually training for something else. Maybe Shatwali, you are really big on in Ghana, but trust me, when it comes to like international gigs, I don't think you can match Riala. Riala has done like, a lot of foreign concert and a lot of like any other person. So she said a Shatawali team member, Team Shatawali, stopped there from coming to the stage. Shatawali will reach out to her, like his sister or Riala will reach out to Shatawali and solve this. And if apology is needed, whoever needs to give the apology. Case of Shatawali, it looks like you're calling out Shatawali just because you know that yeah, Shatawali has like a bad mind. Like Shatawali is like she has like a she's, she's like a black sheep. No. Three. First of all, I would just say a big congratulations to both of the artists that perform from Ghana. Like, Riala has been like my favorite. Anyone who knows me, Riala, One Love. I love music. I play musical instruments, so I love anyone who do live music. So, if you know me, you know I fuck with Riala. You go on my Facebook, you see I post a lot of Riala. Riala works, like, I share videos on me playing Riala songs. So, I'm like a big fan of Riala. But then again, if you really know me, you know like I'm I'm a full blood SM guy. Like I love Shatawale. Regardless of whatever people think about that nigga, I love Shatawale. Like I fucking love that dude. I love him so bad. Like I listen to Shatawale. He got to a point I wasn't playing like no one song aside Shatawale most of the time. So I love Shatawale. I'm like a big. I'm not gonna hide it. I'm a big SM fan. So. So it happened to be like two of my favorite artists came to the state to come perform to raise the flag of Ghana basically high and I was I was so happy when I saw the I saw like the flag came out like a couple of months ago. Oh like man, I'm looking forward to see this. I'm I'm trying to see how this is gonna turn out. Especially for Shatawale who for for some reason I haven't seen him on like a, a concert or festival kind of thing. I saw him performing in Ghana or coming to the state playing like an auditorium so I know they see him for like those kind of events, like park kind of thing. Oh, actually, I saw him like in Chicago for the Ghana Fest a couple of years ago. So yeah. So I was I was really looking forward to it, and I was so happy when I was watching Riala's live stream when she was performing like 1.2k views. Like at the same time, like 1. Point something. Like it was it was amazing. Like to have thousand people watching you, especially if you you are like a core Ghanaian person. And people like thousand people are watching your live video. That's 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 something we should, we should praise her for. So I was so happy for everything I love. Hey, my friends were at the event, and I was feeling like they're Snapchatting at the thing. So I love every part of it. And Shatawali came. He did amazing too. Like so, both of the two artists did amazing job. And I was expecting that to go far. Like that news to should go far. Like people should be talking about like the the, the kind of performance they put up and how amazing they were for the night. And I mean, it was getting the attention, it was trending. Then suddenly, Riala came on live, on and out, basically. She just came on live. And she did a short video. It was about like, she initially planned to do like a short video and go, but then I think she was loving the conversation, like the comment that was coming. So she was responding to the com like the comment. She was trying to interact with the fans. So basically, a video that she thought was gonna end, like be a short video, ended up being like about 30 minutes, I think so. And she was addressing an issue that happened backstage that no one saw. 
if not for Biala coming out to mention it, I don't think like anybody was gonna know something happened at the event. Maybe only those people who was like who were like at the backstage that I mean witnessed like the event that unfolded that night was gonna know. So basically, the main issue that she was addressing was that when Shatawale was performing, I mean, let me take it back before like the event. And we realized this after the second post that she made for, to follow up like the live video that she did. So she she was supposed to be honored with a citation together with Shatawale. And she didn't get her citation during her performance. But then per what she said, it looks like the communication that they had with her was that they were gonna present her citation with together with Shatawale's citation during Shatawale's performance. Okay, sounds fun. Because I mean Shatawale is going performing to climax the show, so definitely by that time they will have a lot of people there. So it will be like a great avenue to showcase something or present an award or citation to an artist during performance. So it made sense to, it made sense to me when I, I listened to that. But then it never happened because when Shatawale was performing and they stopped the music with the president Brent, like Brown's Barrow to come and present the award. Riala said she was part of, she was with the president coming to like present the award to Shatawale and both, both Shatawale and Riala. But then something happened. Someone stopped her and told her to stand back. I don't know what that meant, but then she said someone stopped her and told her, oh, wait. So I think she, what was going through her hair was that, okay, maybe they want to give Shatawale citation first then, then maybe they're gonna call my name then i'll come and take my citation too because since we both going to get a citation for that night then after the bronx borrow person and get the citation to shatawale she just left the stage so apparently they went backstage and spoke to Riala dad okay yo your citation is here so we're gonna give your citation to you at the backstage and she got mad and she didn't take it and i feel like I'll, I'll feel the same thing too if if shit like that happened but we not knowing the actual thing that went on so biela came out and did a video and addressed that issue in that video he never accused shatawale's team or shatawale to be like the reason why whatever happened happened then a couple of minutes later on she made a post and in this post she addressed the fact that there was a rumor or according to her investigation someone told her that the guy who stopped Riala from coming to the stage is a team Shatawale meaning the person works for Shatawale so the person stopped stopped Riala because they had something planned and they didn't they wanted to overshine Riala like something like that I'll, I'll actually attach the, the post that she made here and maybe I could read it when I touch it and I was like I don't think this is needed. Even if you feel like your brother did something and you haven't actually confirmed from your brother, right? You guys are from the same country, two lovable people. So even if, if you feel like Shatawale did something and you haven't really actually confirmed it with Shatawale, I don't think you should come online to post it. So initially when I first read it, I'm like, this is not good. This is not gonna look good on Shatawale's part. Because already everyone knows Shatawale. Like he's really known to be like the bad guy on every day. So people already have their like their their sentiments of like about Shatawale already. So once you put something like that, like leaving it like you, you leave it open for people to do whatever or say whatever they want to say to the artist, the other artist. So I felt bad and I'm like, Shatawale really, like Shatawale really need to say something or come out and put something so we will know what's going on. But then it never happened that way, so Okay. Then again, Riala came back again and posted a long paragraph explaining why she accused Shatawale team. I won't say Shatawale because she never mentioned Shatawale. She said Shatter's team. So he, basically, she's referring to like the people who were. It could be a bodyguard. It could be like a manager. It could be any any other person. So she said a Shatawale team member. Team Shatawale stopped them from coming to the stage for their award. So I was paying attention to this closely. So when she posted that long paragraph, I, I read through it and I'm like, okay, Riala, you have a point. 
I wouldn't take that award too if I was the same person too because it, it kind of feel like disrespect because if two people are doing something and deserve something and we're going to give something equality to them it should be like on equal grounds it couldn't be like it shouldn't be like one is getting it like on stage and the other one is getting it backstage that's like total disrespect I wouldn't take it too so I, I felt I felt her pain and really understood whatever she was going through at that moment and I was gonna get mad too if I was in her shoes so I can't fault her for that then what she said that I, I was like man Riel I love you and you're one of my favorite but then I feel like you could have done better than what you did was this point so when she made that post she she made it clear that initially when she she what she when she encountered that that whatever misunderstanding she asked that who was she was trying to blame like the, the organizers of the show which is summer stage nyc he was like she was trying to blame them because i didn't they did your event and if someone is stopping me definitely that someone is that person may come from the camp but then she went to ask the president vanessa that okay so who was the person who told you that i should wait and i'm going to come in vanessa said oh she heard it's a person from satawale's team sorry i'm driving so i just got off work after 12 hours shit, so so the bronx borough president said to riala according to riala's statement that oh it was a team a person from satawale's team that told us that we shouldn't we shouldn't let you come we should give you that water backstage so it felt like okay so you shut a while i've been promoting you like before the show i've been sharing our flyer even before we started the show i did a live video i'm talking like real i did a live. i'm just imagining how she was gonna feel that, that at that moment so i did a live video promoting you like even sharing jokes that oh we are like neighbors because in the same like backstage room that they gave us for like our dressing room changing room we had like we are like neighbors i was on this side you was on the other side so and we aside even that aside we came from the same country we represent like the same other land ghana so why would you do something like that to me or why would your team do something like that to me that's something that will go to the reality head. so she got mad and came on facebook and it's asking that shatawali should respond to clarify the fact that if his team did that without his knowledge or something like that which is actually everyone has their opinion and are entitled to whatever they feel and who express their feelings so i don't i don't see anything wrong with that but what i see wrong with everything going on is that you guys have like an amazing show and besides that you say you confronted like the bronx borough president i don't think you did that thing online but with this, the case of Shatawali, it looks like you're calling out Shatawali just because you know that yeah, Shatawali has like a bad mind. Like Shatawali is like she has like a she's she's like a black sheep basically. He's not like by a lot of people in Ghana. So you feel like oh yeah, maybe I should post this so people would think oh yeah, Shatawali has done it again. Definitely, it could be like that. I'm just, I'm not saying that's what you thought, but then it's it's an option too. It could be like something that you thought about. So. I see something wrong with that. We all promoting like Mother Ghana. We love Ghana. That's why something like this, when we see it, we feel like so proud to see our artists performing too. If you ever, every anyone who knows me will tell you, Yo, Kolaski, I know they play no, I, I know they play like Nigerian music in my car for like years. But then I realized like Ghanaian promoters, Ghanaian event, like stars has been disappointed so so much that I started playing Nigerian music in my car. It hasn't even been like a year since I started playing Nigerian music. But before you never hear me play Nigerian music, I was like a total Ghanaian artist. Like I was a supporter of big Ghana. I traveled to other states just to go support Ghana, like Ghana even, because I love I love to see Ghanaians win too. So I was so proud to see something like this. To the point that the attention was on the performances and it was training good. But the moment Riala brought this issue up, boom. The attention left the performance that they did like the amazing night that he had the amazing experience that he gave to Ghanaians so all for like people who came for the concert which is really a bad thing if you feel like you have an issue and they didn't take the award you have every right not taking the award but i feel like you should have come in like try to raise someone from satawali's team first to confirm it before coming out to post whatever however you feel because you're doing this you are selling satawali as black again to 
everyone and now instead of your amazing performance that you did to train now you actually i mean you're actually training for something else which is like your beef for shatawali basically maybe you didn't intend to have a beef for him because you you left it open so it could be that oh you don't have any issue with it but now i see one love came online supporting you and saying yeah what shatawali did wasn't true but then no one has ever no one has even heard from like shatawali side I don't know if you guys really understand what I'm trying to communicate out here. No one has heard from Shatawali's side. It's like what you posted is the news now, and what you posted look like, oh yeah, it's confirmed. Shatawali did this, or Shatawali's team did this. Mind you, Shatawali has been performing the whole night. So he, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, and I was watching live, I, I didn't see where he came to tell his team to prevent Riala from coming to the stage. Even when they mentioned that, oh, they're going to present him like a citation. I didn't see where he went to tell his team to prevent someone from coming to the stage. So I, I'll play with Ghanaians. We need to pay attention to everything, and we, we, we tend to focus on a lot of negativity too much. We had like two great artists from Ghana having like had like a great, amazing performance at night. Instead of us showing like more light on the performance and the amazing night that they had, their attention now has been switched to their beef supposedly beef or whatever they call it or misunderstanding or miscommunication or whatever so i'm pleading with everyone please let's try to i don't know but i want to see ghana win too definitely every good event you're going to have like bad bad moment we shouldn't focus on the bad moment and if shatawali really did what he did too that's fucked up bro you can't be doing this to your 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 country man like your your colleague basically you guys are on the same level maybe shatawali you are really big on in ghana but trust me when it comes to like international gigs i don't think you can match riala riala has done like, a lot of foreign concerts and a lot of like international festivals and she's really no out there so everyone is great in their own way and i want to see that go like we need to grow together we need to rise together we need to win together so we shouldn't let this thing be happening a lot of time because it's not really going to help our industry if we really want to see Ghanaians win too. So I'll play with everyone that we should just let it go. And I'm hoping Shatawali will reach out to her. Like his sister or Miela will reach out to Shatawali and solve this. And if apology is needed, whoever needs to give the apology, she just come out and offer like an apology and let this case die so we can promote the amazing performances that they had which i was so proud as like a game watching live from work so please that's all i have to say and again i think because of shatwali's performance for last night he got rebooked for tonight event and so he has an, another show coming up tonight for the same stage but different location it's called like the central park it's, if you're from new york city you should know central park and it has the like the show was actually built with flavor from nigeria my baby da -da -da -da, shower, shower, baby oh yeah you know and i think shatawali did something some magic last night and the organizers tend to like that style and they had to add him to flavor show as a special guest for tonight so all my Ghanaian out here in New York City basically, New Jersey, go support, go support our brother who is the flag of Ghana High man. I pray we're not gonna have more misunderstanding and we are sorry for whatever whatever happened to you backstage. You don't you didn't deserve that and I'm glad you stood up for yourself, which is something that I'm I'm so proud of you for. I wish you the best. I heard you playing in you Northern North Nottingham or something like that. This this weekend. Today, or I don't know, but in your life you stated that. So I wish you good luck, and I hope like everything that you do, your tour should be a success for you. And peace out, man. Gotta go get some rest, my brain.